Hi, Dr. Ian here. I wanted to talk to you about breast implant illness. What is that? Well, typically what happens is when a woman gets breast implants in and after a few years starts to have these mysterious illnesses like chronic fatigue or joint pain, back achiness, constant headaches, and they just pop out of nowhere. And even though you're getting blood tested and going to different specialists and diagnostic testing, doctors can't figure out what the heck's going on. But you know you have a lot of inflammation in your body and you just don't feel right. Well, there's a lot of studies that are coming out, especially last year, there was a, there was a study where there were about 100,000 women in this particular study. And what they found was a correlation between breast implants and having certain autoimmune diseases like Sjogren's disease, scleroderma, and even rheumatoid arthritis. And so what they're finding from these studies is that there are um, a lot of bacteria present, funguses, infections, and even mold that they're finding. What tends to happen is once the implant is uh, put in, a fibrotic encapsulation um, starts to surround the implant as the body's protective mechanism. And between the capsule and the implant, that tends to house a lot of um, bacteria, according to these particular studies, and even within the implant themselves. And over time, the chemical from the implant makeup starts to break down and seeps into the body causing problems. Um, and so oftentimes people don't understand where their problems are coming from. And oftentimes when, the, when a patient comes in and seeks treatment with me, I go through their intake form and I ask them about more about their implants. And, um, and there's typically a correlation between the two. So what has to happen at that point, if it truly is coming from that, and we can verify things on specific types of testing, not through your um, normal conventional test, but we would have to do some specialized testing to see if there are some environmental toxins that are leaching from um, the implant, number one, and number two, to, to rule out mold, because oftentimes there can be mold and fungus that grows in those particular areas that we can um, also test for to see if you have those, um, uh, those issues going on. And if you do, then I would send you to a, um, a specialist to have an assessment on getting an explant surgery. And you have to get that done in a very specialized way where the entire capsule along with the implant has to be removed. Um, this particular procedure is called end block capsulectomy and only certain um, plastic surgeons utilize this particular technique. Um, it's a long surgery, which can take from two to four hours, depending on um, how long you've had the implant in for and how bad the fibrotic capsule is. Um, if the surgeon tells you it's gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes, then they're not doing it right, because what happens is over time, the um, capsule attaches to the wall and it has to be peeled off carefully and that takes a lot of time so you got to make sure everything is removed when you go through that particular procedure um, the other thing is um, what I found was that when patients go through this type of a routine oftentimes their symptoms immediately improve where their brain fog reduces their joint pain diminishes and um, their body is able to get rid of all the garbage out of the system on its own. Um, I tend to help with detoxification type methods and, and protocols, um, but there are another um, group of people um, in, I would say about 50-50, that feel just as bad. And it's because depending on genetic susceptibility, some, some people just can't detoxify on a regular basis. Um, because of their genetic um, mutations. And so we need to help things along with um, the detoxification process. But if you're a person who just can't figure out what is going on, you have all these mysterious symptoms, then you may want to explore um, that particular uh, source um, that it may be coming from that. And if, that, if it is, then you'll, you'll have to get it removed. 
So the best thing to do is, is, is to um, do the testing and to confirm you have those particular toxins or infections in the body and more than likely it's, it's coming from that particular source. If not, then, then you've ruled that out. But I find that correlation to be um, pretty consistent.